Hey, Novi, do you like giving and receiving gifts? Join the Black Student Alliance on Tuesday, December 19th, right after school in room 220. To participate in Black Elephant, you'll have to bring a gift that is worth under $10. There will be games and laughs, so if you have any questions, you can email Miss Spring at this email address up here. Hey, Wildcats, just letting you know that on December 14th, Novi Ted would like you to join in after school to learn about research and play in escape room for prizes. They will be in the Media Center Forum, and snacks will be available as well. The Student Book Club is meeting this Friday, December 15th at 3.05 in the Media Center. They're discussing the book Girls in Pieces. Here's a flyer for more information. What's up, Novi? On this week's episode of My Career Quest, we will be exploring... Construction. Trucks, cement, electricity. Let's get it done. So, what are we looking at right now? So this here is our high steer forklift. It's rated for 6,000 pounds. This left here is going to be our lift. It's going to be our tilt. This is going to be our boom. So our boom here is going to be our hook. So that'll extend up to about 15 feet on top of what you already have with your lift. So it'll max out about 22 and a half feet total. That's huge. Just a little bit. It's not on though, right? Correct. It is on. But you can do the everything that everyone loves. You already know what that's going to be. The horn? Okay. Yes, sir. <laughs> So here at Lee, we actually it's actually part of the program. So once you get brought in, we'll actually go through a training class. In particular, we have our forklift and as well as our man basket lift. Uh, so lift training, you'll actually go through. It's about an hour to two hour process. And then you actually, within that time, get you hands on in the vehicle or and on the lift and equipment. Show you how to do it and get you trained and get you all set and situated on the day. So that way, therefore, you can run safe with Lee. How interested on a scale of one to ten are you guys in this construction area? Um, for this one, probably. Like, like a two but over there there was another like medical related one which I think like all of us were like more interested in. So who am I here with today? Uh, I'm Don Drolly. I'm a road maintenance supervisor for the city of Farmington Hills. And what's this big machine behind us? This is a tandem axle uh, live bottom dump truck. Right now it's set up for winter operations. We have a wing plow on the side here, a nine foot wing. We have an underbody belly blade. And we also have a front, a front plow, so if we were to get a six, seven, eight inch storm, this is what we'd be fighting it with. So I assume you're not just letting anybody drive these things, right? Uh, we have three classes of uh, operator within our city, a class, an A operator, a B operator, and a C operator. So this is a B operator. You need a CDL A with air brakes and tanker endorsement. And uh, usually you're with us for two to three years before you move up to an operator two. For somebody wanting to get into this, what, what do they need besides those classes? Can they just graduate high school, go and work for you guys, or how does that happen? Uh, yeah, we offer uh, seasonal positions in the summer for usually college kids or if somebody's trying to figure out what they want to do before they go to college or maybe they're just trying to make, make a little money before they find out their big boy job. But yes, a high school education, and then we train you to get your commercial driver's license. We send you through all that, and then we do a lot of training in-house. Thanks for watching this week's episode of the My Career Quest. Next week, stay tuned for the last and final section. We'll see you later, Nova. Hey, Wildcats. It's finally the holiday season, which means Starbucks has come out with its festive flavors. We asked some students what their favorite flavors were. So, what is your favorite holiday drink from Starbucks? I like the peppermint mocha because I like peppermint. Definitely the peppermint mocha one. That's because it's not that sweet. The other ones are just too sweet. It's the sugar cookie iced latte because it tastes good and has sprinkles. Probably the pumpkin spice chai tea latte. It's just really good. Hot chocolate. I like the way it cleanses my palate. I had a drink from Starbucks. I have to go with the original. It's going to be a Sprite. Thanks, Wildcats. Now stay tuned for a special surprise tomorrow on your next broadcast. Stardew Valley. If you play video games, you've probably heard of it. It's an extremely fun farming simulator game with mountains of content in it. But Luke, I hear you ask, why are you even talking about this? Well, the answer is that I've come to realize that this game is particularly special to our school. And that's because Stardew Valley is a kind of game that can appeal to any kind of gamer. It's got everything. It's got combat, it's got farming, fishing, mining, and so much more. Because of this, both teachers and students around the school play this game, and it ends up really bringing them together. So I decided to interview one of those teachers, Mrs. Mrozek, and ask her about her experience with the game. 
I really got into Stardew Valley a few years ago, and I'm a millennial, so I'm really into like sim games. Um, Sims was the original, like OG, loved it, and I think Stardew Valley has a lot of elements of that. Um, there's the farming part, there's the adventure part, there's building relationships. It's really kind of a cozy core thing. I felt like a lot of times there weren't either games that were more in my interests or that when I would play it would be really negative or just not a space that I'd want to be in. I think it's really cool that I have something that students can connect with that you know a teacher can look at you and say oh how are you doing? How are your turnips doing? Or did you explore Skull Cave yet? So I think this is like a generational like transition thing where you know this game can function as like a bridge between generations. Well there you have it. If you want a really fun game that you can talk with your teachers about Stardew Valley is perfect for you. And what's even crazier is that because Stardew Valley is an indie game, its base price is criminally low at $15. And because Christmas is coming up, it's going to be going on sale soon. So I highly recommend that you pick it up. Well, that's all I have for today. And as always, this is Luke signing off. Do you have a story that you want featured on the Cat's Eye News? Email us at nhscatseyenews at gmail.com. Just send us details, pictures, and videos, and we'll do the rest. Thanks for watching another episode of the Cat's Eye News. Stay tuned for the last five broadcasts of 2023.